for small businesses wanting to do business with the government, um, writing a proposal is the most difficult and challenging task of the whole government contracting process. It's why a lot of businesses shy away from even getting into government contracting. Well, today I'm going to show you how to write a winning proposal uh, to the government using AI and hopefully in a short amount of time. So let's get into it. There are a few challenges businesses face when they are writing a proposal. One, it's a time consuming task. Usually a lot goes into writing the proposal all the way from understanding the requirements, uh, writing a, uh, an outline and writing the proposal itself to submitting the proposal. It's a long process and it takes a lot of time and effort. Second, there are high risk of making mistakes. Uh, we've all heard the stories how a lot of bids got declined because they missed one of the key requirements. Um, and it's something that any human could do, but it's costly. So it's a big issue for small businesses. And finally, you struggle to understand and align the proposal with the opportunity requirements. There's a lot of jargon, long, long documents that you have to go through, which makes it difficult to understand and you have to spend a lot of time just understanding the opportunity. So it's a key challenge for a lot of small businesses. So what I promise you is by the end of this video, you will confidently write a government contract proposal without the usual struggle. You're never gonna have to worry about wasting time or spending too much time writing the proposal itself. And I'm gonna show you how to easily understand solicitation requirements and align your proposal to them for best results to make sure that you're not missing any key requirements. So if you're a business owner and you're overwhelmed by the time and effort it takes you to create a winning uh, proposal, this video is for you. I'm gonna show you the process of how to leverage AI to streamline the proposal process all the way from the beginning to the end and get high quality proposals that hopefully will land you uh, government contracts. Uh, so let's get into it. I can show you better than I, than I can tell you and uh, let's get started. So first you wanna head to samsearch.co. Once you sign in, you're gonna come here to the AI powered search and we're, we're gonna assume we're a middleman uh, company and we're looking for cleaning contracts. So once we're here, we're gonna go and explore these opportunities. So this one, for example, um, healthcare system off-campus housekeeping. Sounds like a good, uh, can look more into this. So the Minneapolis healthcare system is seeking vendors for off-campus housekeeping. This sounds like a promising and we still have time. So the deadline is November 15th. This sounds like a good opportunity. So let's explore this one. Well, we can come here. We can read the summary as you can see here. Um, so this one is a, uh, I think it's it's not a solicitation yet. It's sources sought, so it's good. We're getting our foot in the door. And then we could just send the details to this email. That's good. It's in Minneapolis. The place of performance is Minneapolis. The agency is Department of Veteran Affairs. We can come here. We see there is a long description. And we can read that, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to show you why. And then once we scroll to the bottom, we see that we have two attachments. Okay, so we can come here and summarize these attachments. Um, this one is just a number, so we're going to see. So this one seems to be the floor plan. I don't know why we summarized it, but anyways. Uh, while we wait for summarization, what we can do is to understand the solicitation. First thing we want to do is actually understand what, is the, what are the requirements? What is this opportunity all about? We got a gist of it from the initial summary. So we see this one. Uh, we're getting more details about each one of these attachments. So we're just trying to get an idea of the opportunity we have here. So we have the responsibilities. We have to verify all dimensions against actual measurement or discrepancy to the project engineer. Okay. Okay. This one has more information about the opportunity title. Seems like information we have seen already. So we have to clean bathrooms, conference rooms, waiting rooms, emptying trash and replacing uh Manners, restocking soap and paper products. Okay, so it's a, it seems like a regular cleaning contract, but we want to get more information. So you come here and we click on chat. What this is doing is now it's getting all of the information about this opportunity from the description, all of the attachments and analyzing them. And now we can come here and ask questions. We have a list of questions that we think are good that you should ask so you can get a better idea of the opportunity. So first one is, what is the scope of work? We want to know what what does this opportunity entail? What, what do I have to do? So now, the scope of work, 
is uh, for the Minneapolis healthcare system includes service contract for sanitation services at five offsite locations. Okay. You can come here. There's daily cleaning task, empty and trash cans, uh, recycling containers. Okay. There's periodical duties, scrubbing bathrooms, carpet cleaning, quality control. Uh, so we have to have some sort of a quality control. And then we have the documents where this information is getting from. It's the, the second document, which is good. Operation hours to be performed after normal, normal business hour hours. So now we have an idea of what this opportunity is about. We can come here and say, for example, if there's timeline maps so on, we want to know um, what's the timeline. Um, and then we also want to ask, what are the evaluation criteria? We want to know what, how they're going to base their decision on. So we have a deadline, which is November 15th, training and, and references, uh, provide training competencies. So we have to provide training competencies before we submit. Uh, once the uh, contract is awarded, there will be periodic reviews of duties. So nice. And then they have here contract duration. So the uh, duration of the contract of the work hours are 4 p.m. to 12 uh, 30 a.m. Monday through Friday. So now we have an, a better idea. So let's say, what are the evaluation criteria? We want to know what am I going to be judged based on? So all of these questions, we're just trying to get an idea instead of reading all through this, um, just trying to get an idea what we have to do, how we're going to get evaluated, and so on. Okay. So it seems that the evaluation is going to, once you get the contract, Performance will be evaluated based on feedback from tenants. Uh, inspection, the controlling, uh, the contracting officer will inspect, the, do inspection. There's a quality control program. There's feedback program. So it, it doesn't seem like there are initial requirements that have to be, that we have to have, or evaluation requirement that we have to have uh, prior to getting the contract, which is good. It means it's easier for us to get into this because it doesn't seem like there are a lot of uh, so now we have an idea of what it, this whole thing is all about. What we can do is come here and let's say we are, like I said, we're a middleman business. So we're not going to go and do this ourselves. What we can do is come here and click on subcontractors. So we could see what businesses would be able uh, to perform this. So uh, we now have potential subcontractors with their rating, their name, and a link and phone number. So this one, they specialize in home cleaning, office cleaning. So sounds like a good uh, business. Let's click on it through their profile later on. This one, I'm not sure. This one, I'll just click on this one, for example. So let's go and check these out. This one has 25 reviews. Uh, they do cleaning. These are the services, restroom cleaning, floor cleaning. It's all things that we actually need. So this is perfect. Let's click on their website, maybe learn more about them. This one is also cleaning. It doesn't seem like they have a lot of reviews, but we'll keep them just in case we don't like um, the one we have right now. Okay, so they have cleaning services. They have reviews. It's nice. You can see the services they offer. So this seems like a good business to work uh, with. They have they're detailed on what they do. So this is pretty nice. Uh, what we can do right now is now we're ready to write a proposal. So we understood the opportunity. We found a subcontractor to work with uh, all within a short amount of time. Now we want to write a proposal. Well, with Sam Search, what it does is it takes in your profile, your business profile, and the opportunity we have, all of the uh, all of the details here, and writes a proposal based on that. So let's go and fill in our information, our company profile. So the company name, we'll just call ourselves Cleaning Company Inc. Or just whatever name. Just make up an address for now. Um, search New York, for example. This will be used. We are based, let's say, New York, just writing whatever for now. And then business description, what we're going to do just for the sake of this exercise. Ideally, you would want to uh, gather more information, but just for the sake of this, we're going to say that this is their services. Actually, maybe I would start with what we do, um, which is good. And what we use, all of this stuff is all good stuff. So yeah, ideally, you would want to write uh, proposal that, that actually reflects what you do if you have any past performances. But for the sake of this exercise, we're going to update the profile. Now we're going to go back to this. And now we are ready to generate the proposal. So you just click on generate, and now we want to generate an outline. So what this is doing right now, like I said, it's taking your profile, your company profile, all the information you have, past performances, 
it's analyzing that and it's looking at the opportunity we're applying for. So it's going through all the documents, the long description, the details, the subcontractor and so on, uh, and so on. And now it's analyzing all of that to generate an outline so we can generate a proposal. All right, so now we have a proposal. What you wanna do is before you generate the proposal, this is very important that you go through the writing plan, you go through the outline one by one, and you include or remove things that you, as you see fit. So you wanna go, so this is the first section. It says that there's a summary. I think two pages is too much to be honest. So let's go here, modify this. And in the summary, I wanna, I wanna introduce, for example, instead of let's say the overall objective, I wanna say I wanna introduce the company, highlight the healthcare environment based on the requirements specific. So yeah, I wanna highlight the importance of cleanliness. I wanna discuss the, I'll just add here the business uh, or discuss our commitment. And it has an operation efficiency. We wanna summarize key points that will be detailed in the proposal and establish the qualification of the contractor. I think we want to highlight establish summarize the uh, i think we want to just establish qualifications of the contractor so we're just going to go through these one by one if you spend a bit of time on the writing plan the quality of the proposal will be better so you just want to go through the outline it's probably take you just five minutes make sure that it's exactly what you want and then you click generate and 90 percent of your job is done and now it's just going to go and write the whole thing down and you can just watch it as it does that uh, go grab a, a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Your job is done here. Uh, all you have to do is just watch it lay it out uh, from beginning to the end. So now it's done generating the proposal. Now it's your time to review the proposal and make sure that it's exactly what you want to submit. So instead of going through this and doing all the modifications manually, you could utilize the chat with the proposal feature. So let's say there's a section that you think is too long. So let's say, for example, this part you think is too long. Well, you can come here, take this part, and I said, uh, take this part right here, and I can't highlight anymore. Um, yep, you can take it and say, make this short. So we, we want this to be short. So what it's going to do is just going to write down the section. We take it, and we are ready to edit this. So here now we have a new section and a short let's say i want to expand on these points i can come here be like expand more on these points now i'm going to expand on these points now i have more text expanding on these points let's say and you can just come back and once it's done generating it's expanding a lot so let's say we're, let's go to the experience section actually um yeah so we have our uh, past performances. Let's say I want to mention uh, I have a past performance with the, and I name it local hospital. We did cleaning for them. Uh, write a section for that. And now it's going to write the section. So literally, we just did this whole thing uh, in less than 10 minutes, an, an hour max. Uh, you could do this an hour max all the way from finding the proposal, uh, finding the opportunity, understanding it, uh, finding a subcontractor, generating a proposal for it. All of that just summarized. Imagine if you had to do that manually. Imagine if you had, you wouldn't be able done with reading all the text, to be honest, by this time. I hope this was helpful. Sam Search is the easiest government contracting software. The link is in the description. Get a free seven day trial. You can focus on making the money. Let Sam Search worry about writing the proposals searching, finding government contracts, summarizing, understanding all of them. You can save so much time, so much effort. Get a free uh, seven day trial, link in the description. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon.